Hey everyone, I uh, stumbled across this software for your Canon cameras. Uh, they don't have it that I know of, at least not from this guy, for uh, Nikon or any other make, but they do have it for most of the Canons, I believe, and the ones that he does not he's working on now. It's actually um, called Magic Lantern, and the main reason I downloaded it was for HDR photography. So if you're into that, this is going to be a huge item for you. I mean, this is just night and day compared to the way you're probably used to taking them. So the first thing you'll notice when I turn on the camera is this light right here, which normally doesn't do anything. We'll come on and show the blue light. That means that the uh, software is installed. Uh, I have the 5D Classic. I don't know what it does on the other cameras. I think one of them it comes up and just flashes on the screen that it's a software. Uh, again, I don't know. So this is the only experience I've had. So let me start first by going here. When you want to do an HDR shot uh, and use the camera to do it, you hit the menu button, go down to the auto exposure bracketing. And you can go up to plus or minus two stops, but you only have three, you can see the three green dots there. You only have three shots this thing will take. So if you're, let's just set it here and go ahead and take the shot. And I've got it. Okay, so set it up for a single shot. So in order to do this, I take the first shot, and then I have to push the button again, and then I have to push the button again to get the third shot. Now, the only way around that is to go ahead and set your drive to continuous shooting, and then you can shoot all three shots at the same time. But you still have to hold down the button. So now, let me go ahead and turn off this one. And let's go to the uh, Magic Lantern menu, which you hit the trash button. And again, I don't know if that's the same on all the cameras or not, but on mine, you hit the trash button, and it comes up with the with a whole new set of menu items. There are several screens, as you can see. I haven't really messed with any of the other ones. Uh, the one I'm concerned with is this one, which is the shoot one. And the first menu item is the advanced bracketing. Go ahead and select that. When you select it, it'll either turn it on or off. So here it's off, here it's on. Now to access the, the different settings in that, you hit the jump button and you get this. And you can, uh, this is set up so that I've got my camera set on manual so it'll just do what I've told it to do. Uh, it'll just change the uh, shutter speed, not the aperture. And I've got it set up for seven frames. You can actually go all the way up to nine different um, shots all auto exposure bracketed, but we'll start here with the seven. Go down to the increments on this one here. You can go from 0.5 to 1, 1.5, 2, 3, 4, or 5. I don't have any idea why you'd want to go five stops in between each shot, but anyway, I'm just going to go with 0.5 so we can see on the screen that it's actually taking the shots. The sequence, the next one, I'm starting from the darkest frame and working up you can hit the jump button again whoops um, you can start from the brightest shot and go down you can do from the correct exposure and then do minus plus minus minus plus plus and on up to however many frames you're shooting I prefer the to start with the darkest and go up that's just the way I like to see them when I'm working on them on the computer and doing the post processing so everything is set up here and this time I will make sure, so the, the thing here, when I'm starting with the darkest one, I've got to start with the correct exposure and then set the uh, shutter speed down to where I want it to start. So uh, we're doing five, so we'll go there. Now the big thing you'll notice is all I have to do is push the uh, shutter button once and then it will take off and do all the exposures. Now I'm going to do another one. I'll show you the top screen here, but let's go ahead and look back. So here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots taken. And then we go to a different one. Um, seven total shots. Only had to push the button once and it's all set up. So you can do this, especially if you're panning shots. You set it, Set your camera where you want to go for the first shot. Move to the second one, hit the button. It'll do the exact same sequence. Third 
setting or set it up for the third shot and it'll do the exact same sequence so it just takes all the guesswork out of it you don't have to wonder if you you know got all the right because if you're doing more than three you've got to actually manually go through and do the the uh, shutter speed and I, it's, I've been doing it and that's just a real pain and I've had this on for a little bit now and it's just been fantastic so let me show you the top screen here real quick okay I'll take that same series of shots and you can see on here um, I've got it set down here it's going to it's going to be almost two stops under we're doing half shot increments and I'll just go ahead and start and you'll see it move up every time it takes a shot so it's changing the shutter speed every time uh, not the not the aperture but the shutter speed and that's it for the HDR another huge feature for this uh, software is you can uh, before if you want to do time-lapse photography you had to buy an intervalometer and set that up on your camera and go through that expense and everything this thing does the exact same thing you can set it to go anywhere from I don't know it's got a whole ton of settings up to eight hour increments I don't know whether that would work on the camera or not whether that's sure the camera would shut off by then so I don't know how that would work but you can set it for anywhere from like a continuous shooting from there one second two second three second on up to whatever you want up to again up to eight hours and you can set the number of exposures you want to shoot on up to just continuously until the camera runs out of memory or battery so another cool feature there's a whole bunch more in here again that i haven't even looked at or thought about because uh, i've just been interested in the hdr so anyway have a look at it I will put the web page that you can look at it on the screen here, and I hope you enjoy. Have a good one.